Number 7. Diana Dennis Diana Dennis didn't just compete, she dominated the scene from 1981 to 1994. A stellar top 10 streak at the IFBB Miss Olympia coming third in 1985, and a first place triumph at the 1989 IFBB Pro World Championship. In an era when female muscle was met with resistance, Diana brought an artistic flair to the stage complete with costumes and props. She even set up mirrors to perfect those iconic poses that would become her signature. Diana's partnership with Kevin Lawrence in mixed pairs was impressive enough to score top four in all contests. And after earning her pro card with an overall win at the 1985 NPC Nationals, Diana had a third place finish at Miss Olympia the same year. Today at 72, Diana is still crushing it in Las Vegas as a personal trainer, nutritionist, and photographer. She also works with Tony Pearson, another icon from the golden age of bodybuilding. She maintains her fitness and diet regimen with the same dedication she had at her peak. Diana's approach to self-care is all about nurturing her body inside and out. She even gets light treatments to fix sun damage from her bodybuilding days. Number 6. Ray Hollett Olsen The incredible Ray Hollett Olsen aka Zap is a true pioneer in women's bodybuilding. She started out being a state champion in javelin and volleyball, but just three months after being introduced to bodybuilding by a boyfriend in 1983, she crushed her first competition. Alongside her paralegal gig, Ray flexed her way to the top as the heavyweight champ at the 1988 NPC Los Angeles Championship. With a physique that landed her on multiple magazine covers, she became an icon, pushing the boundaries for women in the weight room during the 80s and 90s. Ray became a household name as Zap on American Gladiators, complete with her own action figure. She was also on a reality show, Manhunt, with a pre-fame John Cena. Now at 59, Ray's still living life on the edge with activities like skydiving, she also enjoys golf, curling, and going on cruises with her husband, Ken. In the gym, Ray's all about functional training, working out with dumbbells and the Smith machine, targeting multiple muscle groups. She also sticks to a clean diet. Ray works as a personal trainer, massage therapist, and snowboard instructor. She was even a stagehand and security at a Nora Jones concert. Number 5. Corey Everson Corinna Corey Everson was the first ever 6X Miss Olympia champion who left the stage undefeated. With a 24-inch waist and 36-inch bust and hips, Corey's physique was highly coveted. Corey's athletic prowess was evident in high school, excelling in gymnastics, track and ampy, field and badminton. But it was her encounter with an amateur bodybuilder that pivoted her path towards bodybuilding. She won her first contest, the 1980 Miss Mid-America, Despite a setback from blood clots in 1981, Corey's resilience saw her return stronger. She won the 1984 NPC Nationals and her first Miss Olympia in the same year. Corey's training regimen was intense, focusing on hitting multiple muscle groups except for leg days. She promoted a balanced diet, avoiding the pitfalls of binge eating or excessive restrictions. Post-retirement, Corey hosted and produced her own fitness show, Body Shaping. Her sister, Cameo Neuer, was also a two-time Miss National Fitness Champion in the 90s. Now at 65, Corey enjoys a balanced life, focusing on humanitarian work and spreading positivity. She still hits the gym but isn't chasing that competition physique anymore. She's all about enjoying life, indulging in ice cream or a beer when the mood strikes. Number 4. Linda Murray Linda Murray won Miss Olympia not once but eight times. She also won titles like the Michigan State Championships and the IFBB North American Championships. At a time when female bodybuilders weren't the norm, Lenda carved a path from cheerleading to dominating the bodybuilding world. Her diet was high carb, high protein, and low fat. She fueled her body with five to six fresh meals a day. Her training was intense sessions with barbells and dumbbells. She did four exercises per body part for four sets of ten. With her 16-inch biceps and 5 as 7 inches frame, Lenda's on-stage presence was memorable. After a brief retirement, she came back at 40 to clinch two more Miss Olympia titles. She also graced TV screens and magazines and even became a voice for the sport on ESPN and was inducted into multiple halls of fame. Now at 61, Lenda's still a force of nature. She's producing a women's talk show, inspiring others as a spokesperson for Wings of Strength and sharing her wisdom worldwide. Her physique is a testament to her lifelong dedication to fitness. Linda's spare time is spent going on hikes and enjoying the social scene at cafes and restaurants. Number 3. Anya Langer 
Anya Langer is a German powerhouse who carved her name in the bodybuilding hall of fame. Starting off without a place in her first competition, Anya's rise was nothing short of meteoric. She quickly climbed the ranks, snagging a second place at the Baden-Württemberg Championships just a year later. She soon clinched titles from the NPC Junior World Championships to second place at the 1,988 MS Olympia. Anya's physique was a work of art, sculpted through a blend of compound and isolation exercises. She wasn't just about lifting heavy, she was all about that perfect form, which is why she focused on execution over ego lifting. Her diet was a mix of 40% protein, 50% carbs, and 10% fats, steering clear of sugars and processed foods. She knew the real secret to those chiseled abs was in the kitchen, not just the gym. Today at 58, Anya may be out of the spotlight, but she is still living that fit life. And yes, she still hits the gym, even on her birthday. Number two, Janet Tech. Janet Tech was a force to be reckoned with in the golden era of female bodybuilding. With a dancing background and art degree, Janet saw bodybuilding as a form of human sculpture. Weighing in at just 95 pounds, she decided to transform her own physique. Janet started in a small weight room at her swim club and then moved to Jersey to become the only woman at a hardcore bodybuilding gym. There, an NPC judge took her under his wing and she began to chisel her form. Janet stepped on stage in 1983 and she won. Her diet was just having her portions. Later on, oatmeal cookies and MCT oil became her secret weapon for staying lean. Her favorite pre-contest meal was liver with onions and lima beans. She soared through competitions, including the prestigious Olympia. Today at 66, Janet has evolved her training and still looks amazing. She's pumping iron two to three days a week and another three doing Pilates. Janet also teaches at her own Pilates studio. In her free time, Janet loves spending time with her adorable dog, Nico. She also enjoys catching up with her girlfriends for lunch and a glass of wine. Number one, Juliette Bergman. Starting her journey in 1981 with the goal to lose weight, Juliette Bergman discovered bodybuilding in 1983. That year, she stepped on stage for the first time and won both of the shows she entered. After earning her spot at the prestigious Miss Olympia in 1985, she missed out on the top 10. But that didn't deter her from coming second at the 1986 Miss International. Juliet then teamed up with Tony Pearson for the Pro World Championship Couples Show, and they won gold. Juliet's career had its ups and downs, from a failed drug test to personal losses and a severe injury. But she didn't just overcome. In a comeback for the ages, she returned to the stage in 2001. Twelve years after her last competition, Juliet amazingly won the Miss Olympia lightweight class. Now at 64, Juliet is the president of IFBB Netherlands and loves traveling. Her diet is mostly clean, but she does enjoy her dessert. Juliet has also tweaked her training to match her body's needs of one muscle group a day, paired with cardio. Her workouts are a blend of the basics that built her legendary physique with a focus on recovery and smart training.